best example I've ever seen of a, no, of a, of a, of a villain with a noble goal is, uh, is from the graphic novel Watchmen. <laughs> uh, I've seen the movie, it's also cool, but the, the graphic novel I thought was much more powerful. Yeah. Um, taxi driver. De Niro. Yeah. <laughs> taxi driver. De Niro. Yeah, I've never seen Taxi Driver. I should for this panel, but it's not very anime. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it is. I don't know. Anyway, back to Watchmen. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so real brief. This is a huge graphic novel with a lot going on, but again, I'm going to paraphrase, summarize. It's this, this, all, this, 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 it's this future world where everyone's kind of on the brink of World War III, and everybody is super armed. Like one country is just waiting for the other country to go, and then shit's going to go down. We're all going to bomb each other to nuclear waste. And one country does that. And then, oh my god, it happens. We're dead. The whole world's dead. It's World War V. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just that magnitude. It's so hard, it skips two wars. We're just dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fast forward through a lot of graphic novel to the confrontation with the guy responsible for a lot of messed up stuff. And our heroes are saying to our villain, we're going to stop you, man. Stop me. Do you think I would have told you anything if I hadn't, if there was even the slightest chance you guys could possibly stop me? I hit the button ten minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> now, Alan Moore gets a lot of credit for Watchmen, and he deserves it. But Dave Gibbons, the artist, he really nailed this. Now, in the movie, it's a little different. People get vaporized and you don't really see anything. Oh, God, fire, vapor, blah, blah. Very cool, very cool in the movie. What happens in the comics, now bear with me, this is comic bookery at its, at its most wonderfully fantastic. What happens is, our villain has made it seem like an, al an alien monster from another dimension that's crashed through our dimensional barriers and landed in the middle of New York City, in the middle of Manhattan, and its psychic death throes kill two million people. Not vaporize two million people, just mid-stride, fall over dead two million people. Now, Dave Gibbons did not draw two million dead people, but he got the idea of it heartbreakingly well. And you don't realize until this moment, you've been reading nine panel strips, uh, nine panel pages, three, three, three. So you get to those big splash pages of the aftermath of the explosion. And he got the idea of what two million dead in mid-stride would look like. Couples are holding hands just face down in the gutter. Their hands are still in time with each other. So there's, a, there's a woman um, bent over her baby carriage. You can see the little hand just, uh, just leaning outside. Um, Someone coming right outside of a, of a Chinese food place with their takeout, just face down. Characters we have seen since page one got caught in that blast, and we see each and every one of them. Not just a foot, not just a hand, everything. There was a concert that night in Madison Square Garden. Think about that for a minute. And, then just, and he captured what that would look like. Not every person, just enough to get it. And it rips at you in big pages, and you're crying for justice, you're crying for a, get him! Kick him in the nuts! Chew his face in the salad. <laughs> you want that. Something in you is just, get him! Get him! And they see this, they go, what the hell have you done? Now, I'll show you what I've done. And he clicks on, them, uh, it, uh, clicks on some remote control, and he has one of those walls, it's like all televisions, which I need, by the way. <laughs> and it's news reports from all over the world. You catch little news snippets, like, you know, um, two million dead in Manhattan, uh, incredible humanitarian crisis, um, millions dead, some missing, uh, aliens showed up, killed a lot of people, uh, <laughs> countries stopping hostilities to offer help against new extraterrestrial threats, um, treaties being drawn up, New enemy sighted. We're working together now, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And he just keeps happening, and he he starts to genuinely cry. And he looks again. Dave Gibbons captured this look on his face fantastically. That genuine sort of joy of happiness. And he raises his arms up and goes, "I've done it. I've stopped World War III. Very noble goal. I want to stop a war. And that's not even the end of the graphic novel. You are reminded." of what he did, who he fucked over, who he murdered, not to mention those two million people. Two million people! What he did to achieve that goal. It is a very noble goal. It is the height of villainy. 
in my opinion. Excellent story. I really, really recommend it. You will be enriched by this show of good, good idea, bad methods. Now, after that downer.